What's going on, guys and gals? It is 7 Wolf 77 here back on Pharaoh, a new era, and it is time for the 3x3 housing video. Now, this might look awfully familiar because this is where we filmed our 2x2 version, which is made to maximize common residences all the way around here and really get the most out of your population. If you haven't checked that video out, I highly recommend you do because this uses the same basic loop. The link will be down below in the description. So what are we looking at here? We are looking at 17, yes, 17 stately manors. That is the level four version of a three by three housing. And you can see here that they are ready to evolve into a four by four. They just don't have the space to, and they've already generated in March, 1,113 deep in so far. So that's the big benefit of these is they don't add to your workforce and they generate a lot in taxes. So all right, that wraps up the intro. Let's go ahead and see how to build this. Now, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to build my normal 8x17 housing loop, okay? If you're not familiar with that loop and you want to know how the finer details such as entertainment and everything works, I highly recommend once again that you check out my version 2 or even my version 1 of my housing tutorial. So let's go ahead and get started. We're going to do 8x17. Okay, and throw in our entertainment. 5 by three and do five by three let's go ahead and place our pavilions roadblock that off and then down here we're going to go ahead and just go down by five once again you go four or five or even further if you need to now up here a firehouse and a police station. We are not using a police station, but just so you know, a firehouse and a police station have negative desirability rating. So we want one of those to be on this inside portion right here, okay? So we're gonna put our firehouse right there. Now next to it, we can put our architect's post followed by our dentist and our apothecary. And if you want to, you can even add a small statue to Bast right there or a shrine, whichever one you prefer. All right, let's go ahead and throw in our bazaars. We're going to do our two bazaars like normal, followed by our physician and our first god. Once again, nothing so far has really changed. Now, water. The best place to put our water for this loop right on the 3x3 three three is right here. Now, on a 2x2, two two, it's right here in the middle. 3x3 three three would be right here, and that's just due to the desirability loss from the mortuary. Now, just know that depending where your grass is and how you set this up, you might have to just accommodate to this and you might lose a house or you might lose some features just because of where water will go. And that's just based off the map. But the best place you can get it would be right here. Your mortuary goes in next, followed by your library. And we'll go ahead and take a look here. We have flat mode on just to see how everything's going. All right, moving on. Let's put in our second deity. Once again, you want to make sure that these are not the same. We're going to put that right there. One tile overlap. Next, we are going to put in our courthouse. Our scribal school, which will go right next to there, followed by our tax collector. OK, this leaves a four by four space right there. Where we're going to put our Senate house. Senate houses have a high negative desirability rating, as it says in the tooltips when you learn about them. So just know that you're going to have to combat that with some large statues. All right, moving on. We're going to put in one layer of gardens or statues, your choice, right next to this one right here, followed by a third god. And the reason we do that and we don't put this right next to it is because if not, they're going to walk on this pavilion and we need them on the loop and you can't uh, roadblock a pavilion. All right. So we have three gods. We have all of our relevant resources here. Now it's time to put in our houses. When you are building three by three houses, this is how I recommend you do it. We're gonna start right here, or you can start anywhere else, but we're gonna go ahead and start right here, okay? Is you put in one house, okay? Put in a garden set to make it a three by three. So it looks like this. So we have our one house right here, followed by our gardens, okay? This is how big our house will be. This will also help with the initial desirability rating. OK, now I recommend you also go ahead and throw in your three by three statues as well, just to help with that. You can alternate them like I did in the tutorial intro, or you can go ahead and just do them 
uh, do all of them the same way. I like the low ones because it helps with visibility. Now, once this house evolves up, you could uh, wait and then add a new one. Or you can also do this, which I recommend. Once again, houses will ex expand into a garden, but they will not expand into a hard surface like a statue or a building. So gardens, they can build over, okay? So we're going to go ahead and we're going to count one, two, three. And we're going to put a statue right there. This will be a house, but we would wait for this one to evolve, okay? We're going to do the same thing, put a house there, and then do a three by three set of garden. So that will make the house expand out this way. This is very similar to how I place two by two housing minus the statues in all my Let's Play videos. So once these is evolved up, you would get rid of the statue. And then you would put your three by three right here again. You would follow the same procedure. Put that there. Followed by that. OK, so that's three houses now. And then you would do four. And five. So that is five houses here on the outside layer. Now moving on to the inside, you can do both of these at the same time. If I take that back, sorry, that's the wrong place for that. It would go over here. You can do both of these at the same time. One and two. Now right here, I recommend that you put statues. We're going to use medium statues. I like the birds personally. We're going to flip them so they look out like that. And then we're going to place a two by two set of gardens right there. And then we're going to do another house right there and another house right there. And then we'd build these out with gardens as well. And these, once again, these houses will expand into this area. So that'd be four more in the middle. OK, once again, we have our road here that would jet out to wherever you want it to go. Or you could just put a statue or something a uh, or a shrine right there, as we do in our normal video. We're going to put one right here. We're going to copy it yet again for our three by three. And then we're going to follow that same procedure all the way down. From now on, I'm just going to draw a three by three garden so you get the point. OK, so that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So that would be seven houses along here. So that'd be seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, and 17. So that'd be 17 houses all the way through here. Now just know that this final house down here, depending how close you are to your production, might lose some desirability. So you would have to add even more statues. So we're gonna put these in here like we normally would. And you can mix and match these statues however you like. So that right there will get all of your houses up, assuming you have all your relevant resources to evolve these to three by three. So we have our three gods. We have all of our entertainment. So your entertainment up here should be as a Senate house gives 60, 780, 90. So it should be roughly in the 90 to 95 area with the jugglers, the dancers and the conservatory. So this will get you to a four by four if you so desired, as we showed. Now, I do want to draw one quick attention to that. A good way to set up your storage yards with this is did you know you can go into your storage yard and say get beer and we're going to get half and then say pottery we're going to get half so that will fill up half of the storage yard with beer and pottery okay and then you would do the same thing over here with papyrus get half and then you could do linen or jewelry whichever one you wanted we'll just do jewelry since it's right here get half now you would you could do one more with your linen, which we get half, and you know, and you could tell it to get another half of pottery or whatever you have be, and then you just have your two granaries over here with your food, and I recommend that you you designate them. Say this one would be all chickpeas, and this one would be all fish or whatever you have on your map. Once again, this is not exactly how it set this up. You can see it in my production videos and how I set this up, but I'm just drawn to how to 
basically get your resources over here. When you tell these to get, they will send out a cart pusher to go get them from another storage house that is not set to get. So if you have a storage house over here that accept, that has accept, get takes priority. So it will go and get the resource and bring it back over here. So you don't have to worry about filling up a, a storage yard first to move it over here. So all right, guys, that wraps up the first portion of this on how to place everything in here. Next up, we're going to go ahead and go back and we're going to modify our two by two and we're going to turn it into a three by three. So we are back here on our beautiful two by two here. As you can see, these are all elegant and fancy residences here, but we want to turn these into three by threes. So the way you can do this and hopefully minimize a lot of resources lost is first, let's trade out our primary resources, our primary services, such as move our tax collector and things down. And then we're going to remove the minimum amount of housing we can to preserve some of our resources. OK, so let's see here. First thing we're going to do is we have to get rid of these three houses here in the middle down here because that has to make room and we have to get rid of these gardens. We're going to take our tax collector's office and move it down here to the bottom by the Scrabble School. OK, now we're going to go up here and we're going to get rid of these gardens in the middle. And then we have to get rid of these houses here in the middle. OK, so it's just going to be four houses on the outside. To look like that, OK. We're going to put in our medium statues. I use the bird and you're going to want to make sure that you leave one space in between these houses like so. That way they can expand into it. We're going to go ahead and put some gardens here in the middle. Let this guys move. Oh, they already evolved into a three by three, just like that. All right. So I'm going to try to uh, pause and hold off on that just a little bit. So we want to move our mortuary and our water supply. Let's get rid of this statue so we can see. So we want to move this mortuary and this water supply to help with that desirability. So we're going to get rid of those. Put our water supply right there. And put our mortuary right there. We're going to get rid of this uh, Senate house and we're going to put that Senate house now in this four by four vacant spot right there in the middle. All right. So we're going to get rid of all of these temples along the back. If you chose to do a temple alley like I did in a lot of my videos, we're going to get rid of all those. And we are going to destroy all these two houses up here along this pavilion. So let's put our gardens here next to our pavilion. Let's let those guys move. There we go. Let them move again. All right. We're going to put our second deity. So we have raw over here. So we'll go ahead and we'll put Bast right here. And we're going to put our one house right here. And then we're going to surround it by gardens to make it a three by three. Just like that. As you see, one, two, three, one, two, three. So this is now a three by three. And we'll put in our large statue. We're going to put two of them in one right there and one right there. You could technically put one um right here as well we'll go ahead and do that all right so we have all that in we have that in so now we can go ahead and tackle this side over here so we're going to remove all of this along the back side because we need this space if you have your uh of course if you have your city built like mine every city would be different and we're just going to extend that back one and leave a space like so that these houses can evolve into a three by three just like that. Those are all large statues. So we're going to destroy this inner house right here. So this one and this one can evolve into his plot right there. So let's go ahead and do that and unpause. And there they go into a three by three. We're going to do the same thing for the next one and unpause. There we go. We will do the same for this one. There we go. And then here we'll get rid of this statue to let this expand out. And we will line this with, let's just say gardens. There it is. All right. So these houses haven't evolved up yet because this one has a negative desirability, which we're going to put a statue back. Once again, the closer you put this and the closer you have a production, if you're doing, if you're planning on a three by three, I recommend having this probably at least five, but preferably seven blocks away. We're going to put our medium statue right there, which should not be an issue. There it is. Two gods. So we're going to work on our third god now. We need to come up top. 
and we're going so this housing as you can see did not evolve correctly we have two singles here and two singles there so that's going to throw this off a little bit we're going to go ahead and get rid of that let's put in our third god we'll put in taff right here since we don't have taff yet no we don't so he's going to go right here on the corner okay just like that now we're going to go up top and we're going to put in our statues just like we did on the bottom one two three four five and once again i like to put one just behind that temple right there for six now since these didn't evolve up correctly we're gonna have to change this up a bit so we're gonna get rid of this house here and this house here okay so now we're gonna get rid of this house so that should fix that well not really all right so if that happens you just get rid of that we're gonna put our garden there this is a good example on how to do this we're gonna put our three by three gardens so this one here will expand this way, and this one here will expand this way. There's that one. And we just got to wait for people to move into that one. While that's happening, let's go ahead and get rid of that one right there. Now these two should expand into it. Like so. Awesome. I'm gonna Since I am doing this for testing purposes, I am going to go ahead and just activate the food cheat. That way I don't run out of resources while I'm rebuilding all of this. All right, let's speed up. And you see this one house here is going to turn into a two by two and then a three by three as soon as it gets physician. Just waiting on him to walk past, basically. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't have any workers. So let's go ahead and fix that. We're going to do our administration and our hygiene, our religion. And our entertainment so as you can see here we've evolved all these houses up to a stately banner here we are with all of them up and this is our setup once again we'll go ahead and look at it that way and we'll look at it that way thanks for watching everybody if you enjoyed this video please remember to like comment and subscribe i do really appreciate it and it very much helps this channel grow Furthermore, on my channel, I have numerous other tutorials, videos, and a Pharaoh Let's Play series where I go through every single mission. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.